What a result tonight. So what are your thoughts after that performance? Well, amazing, wasn't it? Um, you know, I thought we'd, uh, thought we'd win easily, even maybe 3-1 or 4-1 or whatever. But uh, to see eight goals in any game, um, but especially tonight, it was uh, no, fantastic. Can't complain at all. To be fair, I wasn't expecting much tonight. I was, spoke to f friends at work and I actually said to them, lucky if we get away with a goal, a goal win. Uh, and they were like, oh, but you're playing Macclesfield? And I said, yeah, but I know West Ham, but this has been incredible tonight. This is, uh, they've really, uh, really set themselves up now to crack on for Saturday. So what does everyone think of tonight's performance? Amazing! Amazing! Amazing. Fantastic! Amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> we hate Millwall! We do. Freddie, 8-0 today. Uh -huh. What do you think of today's game? Uh, I think it was really good. Um, I think we can do really well against Manchester United now with Pellegrini knowing what to do now yeah. with all the team. We saw a lot of new players today as well. What were your thoughts on their performances? Um, do you know what? Everyone looked really good. To be fair, there were lots of um, lots of younger players that came in. Um, Dian Garner looked spectacular. Dian, Dian Garner looked really, really, really good. Hadn't really seen a lot of him before, but looked really, really, really good. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Absolutely over the moon compared to what we've been served up in previous weeks. Tonight was really great. And what do we think of Pellegrini? Amazing. Amazing. Oh, yeah. He's coming good. He's going to do good for us. He's brought culture to West Ham, hasn't he? Um, were we concerned when Pellegrini signed four games in, it wasn't looking the ideal start? Were you worried or were you hoping that obviously in time things would fall into place? Of course we were worried. I mean, for goodness sake, four games without a win. But we knew we'd get points eventually, and we are. And we're going to score loads of goals now, I think. Do you have any standout players at all tonight? Oh, Dan Garner, by far. He was, he was giving man of the match. Uh, it's just, I've, I've, to be honest, I've never heard of him. No, he's one of those youth players that you just don't, you're not aware of or anything like that. So, um, no, he, for his first start to get two goals, and he was involved in all the play. Uh, we got a couple of assists as well. So, no, he, he did brilliantly. So, uh, hopefully he can kick on whether he goes online or plays more under 23 games because with the squad we've got, I don't think he'll be on the first team bench anytime soon, even after tonight. But it's, he's just got to keep that level of performance and be consistent. And I think he could, could have a bright future. Are we excited for the rest of the season? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna go back yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a pop from the game v Man City. So you've had a rocky start, obviously, to the season. But what do you think this could do for us now? Where do you think we can go from here? Well, I think the Everton game was the starting point. I think the point against Chelsea is always, always a good point. But then today, I was saying to someone else, I was saying to someone else just now that uh, games like Ackerton Stanley, we've, we've struggled, we've needed to score in the last minute. I've always, always, always been. It's always been a difficult time to get to get over to get over these uh, these kind of hurdles. Eight nil, no matter who you play against, is a real statement of intent. Completely different team to who we play that we normally put out on a weekend. But you know what? Momentum's a beautiful thing, and I think this is going to make a big difference. Did you have a standout player tonight? Who did you think was the best on the pitch? Mm. Maybe Declan Rice because he is my favourite player, and I think he did really well today. He has been unbelievable, hasn't he? He just gets uh -huh. the ball in every single situation. Yeah. So we have Man United up next. Mm -hmm. How do you think we're going to do? Uh, I think 3-2 to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Pellegrini, were you yeah. worried after a few games where we didn't have any points? Uh, a little bit, yeah. But then when we played Everton, I was really happy with Pellegrini now. Yep. Mm -hmm. And getting a draw last game, big again against yep. the top six club. It's all looking good. Mm -hmm. So where do you reckon we're going to finish at the end of this season? Mm. Big question. Well, I did say sixth at the beginning, yeah. but now I think we'll play tenth. So what do you think a cup run could do for us? Oh, so much confidence. I mean, you can see how much confidence there was tonight by the players. Uh, I mean, against Wimbledon, we eventually got the win, but you could see there was that negativity from the poor results. Tonight, you can see the confidence flowing through the players, especially after that first goal, early doors. Uh, you know, it was quite, it was quite it's a training match, wasn't it? You know, I mean, you could suck me on and we would have won. Do you know what I mean? Were you expecting so many goals when you came here tonight? Uh, not really. I thought it was going to be 3-0 to us. And then when I saw it was 8-0, I was really shocked. And what are your hopes for the rest of the season? Oh, top 10 finish. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I said 8 before this season started and I still think we'll, we'll get that, I think. Uh, and hopefully get to the final of this competition. Where is everyone from? Germany! Catch them! As I've said in other videos, I've always gone on, I still think we're a top 10 to top 8 club. Reality, maybe 12, 12, but the way we played tonight, the way we're starting to pick up points now against big teams, if we start to take those points away from the smaller teams, 
then we are starting looking to be a top eight team. What are your hopes ahead of the Man United game? Well, I think we could we could do them. They're short of confidence. You know, we saw they lost last night against Derby on penalties. You know, Pogba and Mourinho are not getting on well. None of their players are really playing that great. I think we could easily win. It's great to see a lot more players looking so much more confident on the ball, trying new things as well, just because we were obviously in the lead. We didn't have so much to lose by the end of it. No, I think you're absolutely right. I think the difference now is that they're starting to buy into what Pellegrini's doing. After three or four games, people are saying he should be shipped out, like Pellegrini should get the sack. No way, no way. You have to give someone time, you have to give them five games, 10 games, 15 games. After 20 games, you get to Christmas, then, then maybe you need to let them go. We're looking like a really confident team now. It seems like the squad's coming together and I really got big hopes for the weekend. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if we do pick up three points. Come on, you Irons! 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 Come on, you Irons!